Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to say come visit my website. I've worked hard on it to get it up and running, and I thought you, I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys want to come see it and register on the actual page to make comments and on the forums to be able to post stuff on the forums. I've got a media uh, discussion for pictures, and I've worked hard on this, and I would really love if you guys come and registered to support me. Thank you guys, enjoy the video. Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you guys how to use the permissions plugin with Bucket. So first, you're gonna wanna go to the Bucket website and find permissions. I will provide a link in the description. But and then you download the latest stable, which is now 3.1.6, and you download the full zip. Once you download it, you drag it into your plugins folder of your Minecraft. I don't not have a server running on my computer, but this is just for show. You go to plugins, downloads, permissions, drag that in there, open it up like this, and then find the rename me. You're going to rename this to whatever your world name is, and that will be under server.properties, but usually it's just world. Then, in here you have groups.yml and users.yml. So... I don't have the YML code thing for Mac, so I'm going to use text edit. When you open it, it shows you how to do this, but I'm going to provide you guys with an easier way. First, it has all the groups from lowest to highest. And at first, when you download a plugin, they'll have certain things or certain commands that certain people will get, and you can choose which group gets which. Say I put a command in here for um for like okay here I'll take this warp plugin anybody from member up or yeah to admins will get that warp plugin since it's in member and it goes up to moderator and admins but the default group will not get that the build is set to false which means that that means that they can't build on the server and and yeah and then if you want to get a prefix if you have iChat you would put in like I would maybe do some well yeah they have like color codes so you could do like I think it's this and sign and then four to make it red and then you would make like any symbol and you can make it like moderator or whatever but that's just to add if you have like iChat and stuff but anything that had that has these commands up would get that command. And to add a new one, you would just you put it you just take this and copy it and put it like anywhere where you think it say I wanted to add like a super moderator. I would take this, copy it, put it right there since it's above moderator, and then change the name to like super moderator. And then I would change building to true and add whatever you want them to have that you don't want the moderators, the members, or the defaults to have. So that's an easy that's an easy tutorial on the groups.yml and now I'll show you the users. Well again open it in text edit. <laughs> Alright, right here already has an example and this is what I do and I think it's also the best. So if you want the server owner, you would obviously change it to yourself or whoever's the server owner. And then I would get rid of everything else. So you have just that. And then you can start going along with that. And if you want another admin, you just say copy, paste. Or if you wanted to make him... Actually here, if this is the owner... And if you had a rank set up, you could just make it owner also. But if you wanted to make this guy a moderator, you put in his name or whatever, and then you change this to moderator. And that's basically it. And then it will automatically, or you'd have to restart your server for it to change effect. Or on some, it you just have to wait like 10 minutes and I'll do it. But just make sure you rename the rename me file to your world name. It has to be exact to your world name. 
And that's an easy tutorial on how to use permissions. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and comment. Thank you.